Hey, good morning, folks. It's Pastor Andy here. I want you to take your Bibles and I want you to turn to the Gospel of John, chapter number 16. Um, I've got two verses for you, and I want to talk to you just briefly this morning about, <clears throat> excuse me, about your personal walk with Christ. And I don't know about you, but uh, when I got saved, I wanted to know all that I could know, and I wanted to learn all that I could learn, and I would get so frustrated and so so uh, uh, angry at myself uh, for not being able to memorize things, and and a lot of that hasn't changed because there's a lot of things that I that I know, and uh, sometimes I just blank. I'll be honest with you, and I blank in front of the, the worst people to blank in front of another another pastor or, or someone that's you know that's broken and needs help, and I'm struggling to quote a verse or to find a verse in my head or remember a verse and. It seems like Satan kind of comes after me sometimes, and I and I try to uh, I try to overcome. But uh, then other times I'm I'm good. But I want to talk to you a little bit about the seasons of your walk with Christ, because there are seasons to your walk with Christ. Some of you that watch these videos have been walking with Christ for a long time, and you know a lot of Bible, and you live out a lot of Bible, and you live a great life, and you, and you, and you share the gospel with folks, and you do all that you're supposed to. You pray for the lost. You do all those things, but it wasn't always like that. And uh, what we're finding in our church is we're, we have a lot of new believers at our church, and and I'm thankful for those new believers. And some of those new believers are growing rapidly. Others are growing a little slower. And some some have grown and then they've kind of plateaued. And, and I've did all of that. I've grown rapidly and I've plateaued. Uh, ministries even like that. But I want to encourage you a little bit that even Jesus told his disciples, if you feel, you know that they needed to wait, that they weren't able to bear something. Maybe you don't know or maybe I don't know or I haven't learned or you haven't learned any a particular uh, um, thing that you've been trying to conquer or whatever, um, because it's not the season for it. You know, it's. Um, I think that the Lord called me into the ministry in 2002, but I didn't have my. I mean, I'm sorry, 2004. I got saved in 2002, but I think He called me into ministry in 2003, 2004, and but I didn't take my first church until August the first of 2014. So. There were seasons to, to my walk with Christ to do something in me before He could do something through me. And I think that you're the same way. The disciples were the same way. Look at your Bibles, and I'm going to show you this in the text. In chapter number 16 in John's Gospel, in verse number 12, He's talking to His disciples and He's teaching them different things. Um, he, he's telling them where He went and where He's going and all this, and He gets to verse number 12, and He says, And I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. I think that the disciples, when Jesus is talking uh, uh, to them about that, I think that what Jesus was meaning with that statement was they couldn't bear them because they didn't have the Holy Spirit living inside of them yet. And I think I, that I believe that because it says in verse number, verse number 12, how about when He talking about the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. See that capital S? That's the Holy Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is come. He will guide you. The same people that he's talking to, he said that the Holy Spirit, when he comes, he'll guide you. That Those of you who don't know things you can't bear right now, he said he'll guide you into not a little bit of truth, not some truth. He'll guide you into all truth. For he, the Holy Spirit, shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Now, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have the Holy Spirit, but I still believe in seasons of our life, seasons of our walk with Christ. There's things that God wants to show you. There's things that God wants to reveal to you. There's things that God wants to do in you so he can do something through you but it's not the time yet. It's not the season yet. Even the Apostle Peter, after he comes to saving faith and saving knowledge, um, and the Holy Spirit comes inside of him at the day of Pentecost, he changes. And then he changes as he progressively goes through the book of Acts. He grows in his faith. Paul grows in his faith. And you're growing in your faith as long as you're feeding your faith. So I encourage you, if, you, if you're somewhere right now where you're, you're trying to figure it out, I want to remind you that the disciples, there were some things that they couldn't bear yet. And when the Holy Spirit come, it revealed all truth to them. And if the Holy Spirit's inside of you, if you keep trusting, if you keep believing, you, you remain faithful and you keep reading your Bible, you keep praying, He'll show you things that what He wants you to, what you to see. He'll take you places that He wants you to go. And honestly, if He don't want me to go somewhere, I don't want to go. 
Um, if he don't want you to marry somebody, you ought not marry him. And if he don't want you to work somewhere, you ought not work there. You ought to be trying to be striving to be in the center of his will at all times. And I know it's hard, but if you got the Holy Spirit living inside of you, you have this promise in verse number 13 that he, the Holy Spirit, is a spirit of truth and he will guide you into all truth. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.